Okay. Ho, ho. She's going to eat it. Did you say to me? <laughs> Trans athletes were recently banned in Florida from competing in sports what with men in middle schools and colleges. Why? Do you agree or disagree? Disagree. Everyone should be equalized. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they don't want to be what they were wanted, they were born to be. They could change what they want to be. You know what I'm saying? Or they could be a redneck. If they no, that is different because or they, not a redneck. No, because they hate our kind. You know, we're gay, and I've never met one single redneck that loves us. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for redneck. We live in a day and age where if you say that men and women cannot compete in the same sport, you're looked at as, uh, like, why would you say such a wild, controversial statement? Like, we are at that level. Did you just put a cigarette into his mouth? That's... Oh, it's a video, if that's okay. I'm not judging. You're both consenting adults. Can I please capture your interactions? Thank you. Very kind of you. I wish everyone was as cool as this. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have two con two consenting adults uh, role playing in public. Stop it. Uh, Get some help. Man, you don't really need help. You just need Jesus. Like, why am I watching this filth? <laughs> why is this on the internet? Oh my God. Yeah, it is well played, but uh, if he was a real G, he would have bought some uh, paint and just splash it all over those tears and be done with it. All right, internet, here is my um, kitchen. It was white. I painted it colors to support my transgender child. And I got an eviction notice three days to move out because I painted my cupboard. You do fucking nothing. Not one of you do nothing. Get the fuck out of here! Get the oh, fuck yeah. out of here! The landlord uh, was a bit tough, if I'm not gonna lie. I, I usually despise landlords, but uh, this time I'll, I'll let it slide. How many genders are there? I don't know. I just got here. <laughs> Small How many boy. genders are there? Two. And they are? Male, female. But what about someone's right to tell you what their gender is? No problem at all. So it's you? You're going to tell me what your gender is, but in the world is less fucked world. I don't have to believe it, but I'm thrilled for you. You're a lampshade. I'm so happy. Let me put a light bulb up your ass. Brilliant. What do you think of plus size models? You cannot in America go to a gym store. The only model you'll see is one that is this big. And it pisses me off. Not because I don't support the fact that fat people should do some exercise because 100% they should, but because I no longer know what it might look like on me. It's being modelled on what is effectively a full, a small family-sized car. And I'm a bike. What do they call those things that move? Travel Yeah. If I'm behind a chumba wamba and they're not moving, sometimes I go. Tell us what you say. Say, so you're not moving on the travel Is that a choice? Is that a decision? Is, do you think you'll still get there just by standing still? Could you get there faster if you walked? Do you think if you walked, it would be helpful? Do you think you would lose some weight if you did walk? Or could you get out of my fucking way so I can walk because I'm slim and you'll see how slim my ass is as I walk away? Dang. The whole fat thing is not going to go away anytime soon because uh, people love food naturally and... It's something that you cannot really escape, especially like Americans have dessert for breakfast. Like you eat cereal with milk and syrup and pancakes and all that. Like you're literally getting addicted to food. And people have to have food anyway. But now that you're making it addictive, like there's no going back. Trust me, like the dating pool will get so much worse in the next few decades. It's going to be biblical. How many genders are there? I think there are two genders. Many. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can cho choose either one. I got you. Yeah. 
both of them, you're either born with one or the other. Personally, I think that gender is a spectrum. That's like my mom likes to dress up in a suit sometimes, like very manly. My other mom loves it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. How many genders are there? Can you give me like a number or range or like something? You're scared. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do it be like posted on TikTok? No, no. We're live streaming on Twitch. How many viewers do we have? Right now, 150. Does that get recorded? Like saved? It's on, once on Twitch, every time on Twitch. Dude, they were not falling crazy. Okay, so you don't have to answer that too. Like, No answer. No no answer. answer. This is the thing, yeah. Everybody knows the truth, which is that you're either born a male or a female, and... People cannot be born unless a man and a female hook up and they have a kid. Everybody knows that. They know that. Even the crazy ones. But they are just too afraid to say that on camera because it goes against the regime propaganda that we've seen so many times. The person who took the banner advertising this event with my face on it and set it on fire on this campus, you shut down the conversation. Do you think that was okay? Do you think it's okay to set banners on fire? I think people can do whatever the fuck they want to do. So there's no moral right or wrong? I think people can do whatever the fuck they want to do. They can have an abortion, they can fuck five people in the night, they can come and listen to your speech, and they can still have questions for you. And you can set banners on fire? I think people can do whatever the fuck they want to do. So do you believe that there's moral right or wrong? I can say it one more time for the people outside. I can do whatever the fuck they want to do. So she doesn't believe people right or wrong. That's actually a very scary society because there are rights and there are wrongs. And you can't be like, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do because that's actually a very, very scary situation. Um, because if I wanted to go out and murder people or commit an act of genocide, I should have the right to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Next question. That was a make drop moment, I'm not gonna lie. There is no like moral equivalence or any of that stuff. People just encourage degeneracy because uh, it's pleasurable in that moment. You will pay for it later with your soul. But in the moment it feels good. And this is just the pursuit of the self uh, hedonism stuff like pleasure and nothing more. Women in this country still make 77 cents on the dollar for what men make. So if women don't make less than men? Actually, if you start looking at the numbers, Rachel, uh, there are lots of reasons for that. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Well, don't tell me the reasons why. Do women make less than men for doing actually, the same work? Uh, no, because... Wow! Well, okay, well... Well, for well, example, men work, work, men work an average of 44 hours a week. Women work 41 hours a week. Men go into professions like engineering, science, and math that earn more. Women want more... Listen, this is not a math is hard No, no, no. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, listen. All right, let Rachel frame it, though. Right now, women are making 77 cents on the dollar. But that for, for what men are making so that's not country. true so, if so all right, let greedy, rachel make her point every greedy businessman in america would hire only women save 25 percent. and i love how passionate you are i wish you were as right about what you're saying as you are passionate about it i really do <laughs> for example <laughs> may i share one fact with you when you look at for example single women working in america today between the ages of i think 40 and 64 who makes more men or women on average men make 40,000 a year women make 47 when you take out the marriage factor, look at some economics. My point here is that we're manufacturing a political crisis. They are doing that just to control people. Obviously, women will go into a lot of jobs that don't really require that much uh, work or many hours and so on. So obviously, men will work harder in uh, better professions and they will earn more and it goes the other way around it's complicated but you see how this uh, rachel maddow woman she just doesn't want anyone to speak she just wants everyone to just shut up and listen to this hate and filth that she spews why are you destroying private property that's not cool you just can't take down other people's ideas because you disagree with the idea of it if your guys's ideas are so fragile they can never be challenged without you ripping down that I think that says more about your ideas than his. She has a point. Yes. Yep, she does. Posters aren't supposed to be on the land posts. You need to ask permission to place them. Like how your flyer is on the pole? Strike two. So the only free speech that's allowed to happen is yours. Is that what you're saying? Are you just going to stand there? I'm not going to interact with you. If you want to interact, that's fine. I have Never been much for confrontation. <laughs> but you won't come and ask him a question. You scared of him? 
fire. Come on. Just so you can tear them down again? Yep! There's still plenty up, aren't there? We're not taking down your flyers. We're not covering up your flyers. I don't know why you feel the need to take ours down. It's called double standard. You want to call us fascists. You want to say that we're horrible people because we have different viewpoints than you. If they call you a fascist and they keep, keep doing that over and over and over again, chances are they are the fascists and they are the ones that are trying to silence you into submission because you have to submit to their own fantasies that they claim is reality. Let me just bring you a bit of breaking news which may be of interest to, to some of you. Uh, it's about puberty blockers. Now, uh, these are drugs that are used to delay the changes of puberty in transgender youngsters. Uh, in terms of how they are prescribed by the NHS, there has been a lot of controversy over the last few years uh, about this. At the moment, they are only prescribed to children attending gender identity services as part of clinical research um, and they are, are, are not routinely offered to children at gender identity clinics but they are still offered well the government NHS England has just confirmed that children will no longer be prescribed puberty blockers at gender identity clinics yes that's what I'm talking about finally a win finally a win for sanity it's like what the hell are we doing as a society and make no mistake I don't care where you're from at some point this is gonna come to your country it's gonna happen a bit later but it will come to your country slowly but surely so you have to fight and you have to fight it now until it gets to your border 